Welcome, this is Mrs. Peachy, this is AS Chemistry, a quick overview of your course syllabus. It is expected that you have access to your course syllabus and have read it thoroughly and you understand the expectations to be successful in the course. To get to your course syllabus, go to your Schoology page, go to Resources, Course Resources, Start of the Year, or you can hit the Course Resources button and go to Start of the Year. You'll find the syllabus there. Each and every school day, I expect you to go to the daily agenda and ongoing updates and announcements. Supplies you'll need. This is a list of general supplies that you'll need. Some specifics that I'd like to highlight here is a scientific calculator, some place to work out problems, and a unit packet. Traditionally, I teach in unit packets. I hand out the information, notes, practice stuff ahead of time, and then we go through it. I'm going to do as much as I can electronic this year. There may be a need to print or a desire to print, or I could possibly make arrangements for you to pick up a hard copy that I print for you. Here at least Summit High School, the plan is to have a curbside library checkout where they also are hoping to be able to check out things such as packets and stuff like that. I'll speak more specifically about the calculator at the end of this presentation. Electronic devices. When we're seated in person, your cell phones or other electronic devices must be in a zippered pocket. You must request each and every time, get permission each and every time for each and every person to have your cell phone out. When you're absent, it's your responsibility to make up any missing work that you have. Reach out to me for further assistance. I do expect that you've checked the daily agenda before reaching out. If you need help, make up work, or need tutoring, these are the times when you can come in. Most of the time, you'll go to googlemeet.com. However, on A day and B days when we're hybrid, you can come to my room on Mondays and Tuesday, Monday, Tuesdays, or Thursday, Fridays from 2.30 to 3.30 to get help in person. Wednesdays from 10 a.m. to noon. You can, there's an open tutoring session. You can hop on the Google Meet and use, an op, use the nickname Peachy Open Tutoring to get some help. And then other times they're available for sign up. Email me and I will help you figure out a time, coordinate a time that we can get together if you need some help. Academic assessment, your AS chemistry grade is made up of coursework and semester work. Your coursework is 90%. Your semester final, pardon me, is 10%. Uh, your coursework, the 90% of that is 60% assessments and projects and 40% learning activities. And of course, your final will be at the end of the semester and it's worth 10% of your overall grade. This slide represents what the district considers mastery, nearing mastery, and non-mastery. Turning in assignments, all work is due on the due date. Assignments on the daily agenda are due that day unless otherwise stated. All electronic device, let me try that again. All electronic submissions are due at 11.59 p.m. unless otherwise stated. And I do not take late work. See the summative assessment retake policy for the exception to the late work, no late work policy. Again, I do not accept late work, but there is one exception. If you look at the summative assessment retake policy, you can see that there. I will speak about that in a moment. Retake policy. Obviously, learning is the ultimate goal. I want to see you successful. I want to see you have success, feel the success. However, if you struggle on something, definitely come in for extra help or reach out for extra help. Although you are allowed to retake any formative assessment or quiz for additional two times for a total of three attempts, but those must be completed before the end of the unit or summative assessment or my, my, my deadline, whichever comes first, and very often additional practice will be required. To retake a test, you have to earn an 80% or lower to retake a test. If you score a higher score, we'll award you that score. If you score a lower score, we're going to average the two. But in order to do a retake, you must attend two tutoring sessions, when possible in person is preferred, complete test corrections during the first tutoring session, have completed notes from your unit of study, complete any additional practice that I see necessary, have all required assignments completed. So here's that exception to the late work policy. If you don't have all of your assignments completed, you will not be allowed to do a retake. You won't get credit for those, but you still have to complete them. And then complete any study guide I give you for the unit. Calculators, scientific calculators, or graphing calculators are fine. Uh, they're not allowed, you're not allowed to use your cell phone or any electronic, other electronic device on a test or a quiz when seated in person. This is the kind of graphing calculator, pardon me, let's try that again. This is the kind of scientific calculator that most use. However, do not feel like you need to rush out and get this calculator. Any scientific or graphing calculator should do. If you're unsure, take a picture of that calculator, email it to me, and I can give you a thumbs up or thumbs down. Most calculators, if they're scientific or graphing, will work. That's all. Have a fantastic day.